You, you can't go wrong. You Fleetwood can't, Mac was playing. You can't go wrong with the older songs, though. Stevie Nicks. Cruising We're not even live yet. I got the mics hot, by the way. Oh. <laughs> How are they? So who are they hot to? We're hot. Oh. We're hot. Oh, we're counting down so they can hear us talking, huh? Yep. You know, Kelly's already slapped us with 500 stars. Wow. Lots of topics tonight. Like and share, like and share, like and share, like and share. Remember when I first did that? That was during <laughs> Matt's, Matt's yes. fundraiser. I didn't realize I was even doing it until like three quarters away and then a certain jerk that I'm related to brought it up. That lives we on. talked about making shirts. I did. That blue shirt. We had, of... yeah, you got one shirt that has like, like a chair on it. Yeah. yeah, I still have that shirt. It still fits. But I haven't gotten that fat. <clears throat> 25 seconds. Iowa is getting. Michelle shared that on your. They're getting hammered. Winter wow. Wonderland. <clears throat> We're going to get to that. That's the first topic, I believe. She's in. I think Rose O'Neill is on here already. She's on. Six she's seconds. in the West. That's going to go south tonight and miss us. And right. We might get a dusting. We are live. Good right. evening, Central Indiana, across the globe. Rose O'Neill and anybody else on just to see my lovely hair. Corey, what do you think? Is it? I mean, look, look a little crazy tonight. I don't. It is. It's well, long. It's a long day of work. Are you still growing it? I'm letting it grow. Mole at time. I'm going for shoulder length. The back really ain't growing, but the top and sides it are. Is. <laughs> I mean, this is this is my covered up as I twist this around here. Covered up and. Cover my eyeballs up so I can't see. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I, I, do, I do not care about my hair at all. What's up, Leslie? Kelly Bush, thank you so much. And why are... Lori's on. Danette, Rose, oh, Mike. Cupcakes. Cupcakes. And and those Twinkies are, that's from, right in front of me Kelly. right here. What's up, Mike? And crackers. Friday night. Part of Indiana, which... We're in a good spot right now. We're what? We're in the middle of the V of the winter storm. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's going to come down to the west of us, hit right. What's up, Mike? Mike? Hit right down there where we drop the supplies off, where they don't need anything else, and then shoot yeah. east and north. And they're talking ice storms, east Georgia, storm. South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, uh, 12 inches or so in that area. Um on up where it's cold enough to get yep. snow. We're we're not we're not supposed to get maybe a trace. Quarter inch. Southwest Indies Indiana's getting maybe a, up to an inch and then we're like in the dusting. So yeah. I just I couldn't believe it till I watched it. Because I thought I seen the map and I'm like, okay. They can't this Southwest is gonna get us. And not hit us. And no, she said it's shifting south. Yeah. And then it's gonna go east after it gets south Completely of us. Completely avoid us. Just barely hit. There's Samantha some and PJ. Others. What's up, guys? I don't. Rose is I'm on here. I'm not mad at it. I'm not either. I love snow. I like snow on Christmas. I like snow, but I hate the cold, and I hate cold and wet. And it, and if it's not Christmas or New Year's, it's time to move on. Yeah. And I need. There's Betty Lede, Jeff Jesse. I need. Uh, Kelly says she hopes it moves on. Yep. Corey I, Baker, so happy your boy's home. That's right. I wanted to mention that. Alex is home. Happy oh, birthday, thanks. Alex. Thanks, Lori. Yeah, his birthday was yesterday. It, it was good a good birthday. It was a tough five days for Mama Baker and Alex, but they got through it, and yep. he is home and happy. That was a scary, scary thing. Oh, Kelly wants snow. She wants snow. Alex is fine, isn't he now? He's doing fine. Yeah. Today was his first day. He kind of was, yeah, I feel good. I feel fine. and I believe that, Samantha. So... I believe that. <laughs> they can have it. I gotta remember what our topic is in order. There's hello from Iowa. Uh, I just want we just Blizzard. watched your video, Michelle. Yeah. Keep it keep it out there. We don't want the blizzard now. If it if it's like December twenty fourth, I'm good with that. Well, the the good heavy wet snows all right to drive in. What you're saying is the the good stuff. 
the uh, the cold. What am I wrong? I don't like snow at all driving in. <laughs> well, I don't like driving in. I'm just saying. Could you imagine driving down there to Bowling Green where we were? Oh, no. Through a six inches of snow on those highways that you and somebody else were running excess of 80 miles an hour. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, that oh, is Corey yes. Yep. It's kind of. I don't know. It was kind of a. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it from Tuesday night when Michelle left the hospital to, and she stayed in the hotel. And then when she showed up Wednesday morning, it just, but something happened that morning. It just, I don't know. Good evening. Good evening, Jeremy. It was a God thing for sure. I got to, um, I, I can't remember what my topics all were in order. Did you write them down? I know yeah. what, Winter storm. Uh-huh. Upcoming events. Upcoming events, that's right. Exit ramps. <laughs> right. Food, of course. Food. We always talk about food. There's Shelly. School Corp. School. Logan. LT. And then rumor. Rumor, rumor mill. mill. Yeah. All right. So just to get off the the first topic of the snowstorm. Everybody's saying it's moving. It's gonna move past us on the west side. Uh, it's getting heavy in Iowa and going to shoot South Miss Kentucky and then move East and North. So we may not, hello Ruth Oaks. How you doing dear? We may not get any of it. Fingers crossed. Um, come on spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on spring. That's what I'm ready for. I need warm weather. (laughs) We need warmer weather. I got, I got something I need to try out. Oh, that's right. You got a Jeep now. You're a Jeep I'm person. A Jeep guy. I got you and Savannah have been rubbing it in my that. face now for. I got, I got my. I even went broke. Oh, you went and got your Jeep shirt, didn't you? Roking. Five bucks. You can't beat that. Oh, Roking. Don't talk to me. I'm What's so that? jealous of both of you. That's guys. the old Jeep, though. I'd like to have one of them. There's a Willis for sale. Is there? Uh huh. I saw one. I, uh, I'm just jealous. One of these days I own a Jeep. I had a Jeep. I had a nice one for a long I time. I see them everywhere now. It's like. I know it. I miss my red Jeep. I mean, that came after the divorce, and me and the kids lived in that thing just on weekends and had good times, and yeah, not lived in. Yes, I had was, a house. It's just yesterday was know. Alex's birthday, and it was National Rubber Duck Day for Jeeps. So I actually put a duck on somebody's did, Jeep yesterday. Did you? I didn't get ducked, but <laughs> real, real quick, one of the I haven't I hadn't had it long, and it was my turn with the girls on the weekend, and so I tell them, I said, we're gonna go camping. So. Have you been quack yet? I think that's what there's Tina, there's Jeff. Not yet. Um, so we take all windows off and you know top and everything, and we load it with. I mean, I'm taking three girls, and they're young. And I think Keaton was coming with us, so we load it with tons of stuff. There's four people besides me, but they're mm-hmm. they're tiny, so they could fit. In yeah. <clears throat> I have to I have to get gas, so I hit BP on the west side of town. I pull in there, turn the Jeep off, fill it up, and, you know, four kids running all over the place, buying pop and everything else, and the battery dies. Oh! And I hadn't had it, but maybe three days. Yeah. But the battery was dead when I bought it. And I'm sitting there, and I'm cranking, and I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, there's no way the battery's dead. Something's just up weird. I've done something stupid. I've never owned a Jeep like this. Yeah. So <clears throat> now I'm embarrassed. I'm at the gas station. There's it's summertime. Obviously there's lines, and I'm I'm going nowhere. People are coming out of the gas station. Hey, you need to move your car because we have to keep. They keep there's video cameras. I guess they have if there's people parked there, they get gas or move on after a certain amount of time. I'm like I, I'm not pushing I it. Can't go <laughs> anywhere. Can't go anywhere. <laughs> so Timmy and I, Timmy runs down there. We yank that battery out. He drives me down to AutoZone, buy a new battery, throw it in, and away we go. But I was like, it figures. Hello, Mm -hmm. Benny. Hello, Jeff. There's JB. (laughs) Mr. (laughs) Hare. What's up, JB? I'm going to let it keep going. Well, hey, I changed the battery in the key fob, and it hasn't given me an issue. So I told you. Yeah. Uh, That's one thing I did learn. Greg told me to bring it over at 1030 that morning, but I went over to AutoZone, and they they, pop it right off. They had a little... 
yep. sensor. They held up to it and yep. they push it and it was it worked first time and then I went, Well, it's been working <laughs> off and off and on and then he tried it again and it didn't work. Yep. And he goes, Well your battery, there you go. So he I went I thought that for about a month and then I was like Googled it because you know we hate to look at instructions. <laughs> And I was like, my key fob's dying. So I drive over to AutoZone, and I mean, if you go in there and you play a little dumb for the people at AutoZone, they will do the work. And they had a little tool. They do. And, he goes, and they, they had, had a hard time getting pop. it apart. And I went, see, that's why I'm yep. having you guys do it, because yep. I would have broke it. He wants you to tell me about Alex. I will add Alex to the list. He's home. He's home. He come home Wednesday afternoon, so... And it's his birthday. And it was his birthday yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, turned 25. 25. So that was a great Christmas or Christmas birthday gift. But my, my twins turned 22 in March, and I'm just like, there's yeah. no way. Trent turns 27 next month. Yeah, so Logan turns All mine are, Nolan September. was in December, and then January, February. So, yeah, it's kind of a long ordeal, <laughs> long story to go into. I mean, he shouldn't have been where he was. There was a little mishap, but God answer prayers. He's he's home. It, Got a lot of all, folks. A lot of folks praying. It all worked out. So, thank y'all. What's up, Brett? So about the storm. If you're moving, if you're going west or south or east of Indiana, <laughs> don't stay do in it. Indiana. You're stay good. In Indiana. <laughs> all right. Oh look, who's on? Logan, almost, almost twenty one. <laughs> I'm going to get to you in a minute. You're on down the list, Logan. When's, you're when's her birthday? September. Oh, well, not almost. You're, you still got a ways. I'll, I'll, I'll bump her now. So since she's since on she's here, on. um, congrats to Logan. She just graduated from her Cosmo school or beauty school in, in empire. Uh, she passed her state exam. Why I'm mentioning her tonight is because I've had a few people ask me, Hey, where's she working? She got a job yet. She had talked to a few folks around here about working. Um, she actually has some space set up in here where she thought about doing it, but um, she lives over in Sweetwater area with her mom, which is not far from a couple places in Columbus, Edinburgh area. So she is working on uh, a few interviews. Thanks, Brett. Love you, Brett. Love you too, buddy. Um, she's working on a couple things over there, possibly to work over there, but she hasn't ruled out Martinsville yet, but... She did give me her business card, and I'm going to put that Ooh, on the site. She's got a business card. Yeah, she does. And so I'm going to post that a little later. <laughs> and I said, you know, you're taking advantage of the number one advertising site in Morgan County. Yep. Um, so oh, and then he is just want to let you guys know, it's not that she's not giving up on working in town. No snow. But she's going to be probably working over the Columbus, Edinburgh area, which if you want her to do your hair, who knows? She, well, you're going to. Grow yours I mean, out. She won't she, touch mine. She, she won't. Knows. No. She, she uh, ask her, Logan, will you cut my hair? Nope. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, anyway, congrats to her. Very proud of her. Yep. And I uh, told her, I said, you know, Never a little. you want to advertise on my site? You can uh, come and we'll <laughs> talk business and see how much I charge you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna turn you over to Cor turn you over to Beth on that. She handles all that. All right. So we scratch Logan. Almost 21. She jumped yeah, up look, the there, look, 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 look. No men's hair cuts here. Wow. Really? Cuts here, yeah. Huh. Congrats. Nineveh needs a haircut. There you go. I, I, I told her, I said. Look at all the guys congratulating you. They Dad like to have a haircut. set something up here. It's <laughs> own business anyway. Yeah. But she's like, I live in Sweetwater. I'm like, Okay. Her life set appointments. I, I, I uh, that day or two long, here. Oh, that's a long haul. Oh, that's long. <laughs> All right. Uh, I see. He's not going to get Taco Bar next time we do Taco Bar. <laughs> anyway, very proud of her, and um, she'll probably end up working over here some. But her dream. She did it, and she's gonna go her path. So, I I try not to interfere yep. that much. Is that right, Logan? Anyway, exit ramp, and she's drove it. She's drove that exit ramp, and uh, and yeah. Corey's drove that exit ramp. They've changed it. It was sharp when it was thirty seven, and we used to hit it at well, sixty or fifty five miles an hour, and it was even it was sharp a then. Long term, though. 
I mean, it was like a long. It was. Now it's now it's a hairpin. Now it's long, and then you get right there, and then. <laughs> but I mean, they have to. Look at that guy. You, you he's said, probably down there in I, I see seventy, him. Him. yeah, he's seventy, in eighty degree weather right now. But you drove it tonight, and they made some changes already. They had the big digital sign there the whole time, but it okay. was out on the highway be- right before you got on the ramp off the exit. Now they've moved it once you get on the exit and start making the, kind of the turn to the right. There's the big digital sign now. Same I think we should bank turn. it. That way we could keep our speed up. Yeah. And like ramp right in. Be... <laughs> and then once you get closer to where it turns, they've got a speed limit flashing. So the, I don't know what the speed limit is. I think hearing, it's I think it says 30 through there. They're but... hearing the people then. People so are... it, it flashed at me tonight, so... There's Natasha. G's down in Florida. Hope all is well with you, Brian. Uh, death ramp. Well, they, like I said, they got plenty of flashing lights now to alert you. I'm saying just bang it like but still, 20 uh, degrees. You can zip if you're there. like a lot of people, you're going to look at that and go, yeah, hey, okay, I'll slow down a tiny bit. And then you get to that corner and it's you're going off into where the pond used to be. Or is there still, I don't even have any look. It's still there. Used to fish it? that too. Kind of just took some of it off. JW's but. pond. Hello, gentlemen, Natasha and Chloe. Two of my favorite people. <laughs> How's Natasha and Chloe? Uh, you, you know, I, and, I, and I talk a lot about brain chills, but it's... Wow. Regardless of how good their food is and how cool it is and how close it is, it's the people, my three favorite people. We ate there today. Oh, I ate there two nights ago. I, I love I them. Some they're, they're good folks. They're BBQ good people. BBQ chicken and Tony. some mac and cheese. You always got to get mac and cheese there. I mean, mac and cheese is insane. Tony might spill his beer. Oh, oh 60s. What's, I 60s. think I did see that. You I'll guys were getting 60. hit with I'll take 60. some cold weather down there. Still, I'll take 60s. I take top off in the Jeep going in 60s. <laughs> hey, That's all I want. You, oh, you got a hard time. 60. The, the rookie mistake I made with my two-door Jeep when I had it. What's up, Don? Um, hello, Wendy. Hello, Keaton. What's up, Skeet? Um, it was like 50 one morning. And this is back when I was married and had a two-door Jeep. And I worked in Avon. And I woke up and told her, I said, I'm taking the top off that Jeep. And I go up there and take off my sides and windows and take that back and fold it up and drive to work. Oh, that sounds well, it was good for like two days because it was 50, 55 degrees. Well, like on, that was like on a Monday on Wednesday, cold front coming back through. It was like <laughs> March, April type of year. So I got to put my stuff back on. Well, it's vinyl's nice when the sun heats it up. When it's cold. But when it's not, you couldn't get Hulk Hogan to land that back <laughs> yeah. corner. And I was like, oh my God. Uh, that sounds, uh, well, JB, JB what is you're wrong? Out. My goodness. Good burgers, good chicken, good chicken sandwich. Good chicken salad. They get grilled some chicken. Magnificent ice good cream chili. with some peanut butter. Oh, that's some good stuff. Hello, Amber. On our way to Texas and Roadhouse. To Texas, oh, rolls and the cinnamon butter sounds great right that's now. That's Texas Corral. They're going Roadhouse. Where's Roadhouse? Bloomington. Oh, or, Bloomington or, or, or Plainfield, yeah. Yep. Double you got to get to there. There you go. go. Yeah. <laughs> See, Diane knows. <laughs> yeah, chili. Can't forget their chili either. No, I said chili. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. yeah. I got some good chili. It's... Yeah. Oh, we see we're hitting food constantly, but let's get. To, um... Oh yeah, that is one of your topics. Yeah, so kind we, of jumping around. We hit the exit ramp, Greenwood tonight. Greenwood tonight. Okay, but let's get to a topic that ran rampant a little bit on the page today. And it's it's been a uh, point of contention for a little bit. <laughs> I love the BLT. Mm-hmm. Bacon. School Camp Corporation. Corn. People are fired up about lots of teachers are off. They're they're asking for different people to sub in. Um, things like this and that. And they're going to different rooms and gymnasiums. And I don't know. I don't have any. I don't have a horse in the race anymore. My kids are out of high school. Um, but I will say this. I remember this time last year when Zoom meetings were going on and e-learning was going on, and I I could go back and watch video and watch post. People hated it. I know my I got a kid in college at IU that said, "Dad, I cannot learn like this with Zoom meetings." Mm-hmm. And IU did that for a long time. Now they they stayed with in class in 
person. Yeah, it's cool. So you have to give the school corporation credit where credit is due. They're keeping the kids in school where a lot of corporations did not. They're doing the best they can. There's people missing work in every corner. Mm-hmm. I'm in aerospace. We got people mm-hmm. missing. Food industry, truck drive, everybody's missing people. And I, I think a lot of people don't look at it that way. Well, teachers can't get sick. Yeah. Yeah, the teachers are sick. The substitutes <laughs> yeah. are too. Not only in our corporation, but those substitutes can go anywhere. So they're, they're sick. People are sick all over. So they're doing the best they can with what they got. Is it perfect? No. But is there a playbook? What's up, Derek? Is there a playbook they're going by? No. They're, they're going by the seat of their pants on this like all of mm-hmm. us are. You get told A, B, and C by three-letter organizations on Monday, and then they change it on Wednesday, and then it's back the other way on Friday. I say give them a break. Yep. They're human the same as us. They've got kids in school. They're, they're front line with our kids, and I get it. It's frustrating, but I tell you what, it's better than the e-learning and the Zoom stuff. Do I agree with everything they've done? No, and you never you you won't. Right. They don't agree with some of the things that we do. I guarantee it. But I know people are fired up on that post, and I removed I only, I only removed one comment, which they were calling out an individual. Uh, this person was, and I don't like that. Mm-hmm. You're having a debate with over a hundred comments, and somebody wants to tag someone or label an individual. Don't do that. Mm. Don't do that. That's we just don't need that right now. Especially the division; <clears throat> it will not help anything. Um, it's mm-hmm. not a time to point fingers at this level. Uh, I don't think we we have to live with rules and guidelines that have been passed down to us by by other individuals, and everybody's in the same boat. So, I wanted to address that tonight. I just it bugged me a little bit that. And and I get it. People are mad. People are upset. When it comes to kids, they're very passionate, and I respect that 100%. But I think they're doing the best they can. And and I'm not saying it's it's perfect. Nothing is. I agree. There you go. 100%, Wendy. Yeah. I had to get that off my mind tonight. It was (laughs) And I have friends on both sides of all this. I have friends on both sides of the argument. Thanks, Mike. Upcoming events, CB. I've been watching. The captions are on on my thing. How do you get that off? How do you get? I was watching. Make sure it was reading every. Oh, typing every word you're saying. (laughs) I was watching it. Uh, Upcoming events. Even CB is right there. Isn't that awesome? We do have Star Search starting again, I think March 28th. Oh, yeah. I took my notes home. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on here we cannot read. Yeah. And there are some good things coming that we cannot talk about. Didn't we write down at a date that we were announcing everything to? No, we didn't. We we're did. going to be in here on... I talked to Beth about this. Oh, I thought we did. I think um, March or February 7th is... First, first Monday music Monday hour. music hour. Yep. But we're not doing that then. I think I think we're doing something in January, aren't we? Thirty first. I think we're announcing all the January thirty first, seven p.m. I got this in right here now. with yeah. Cedar Creek Cedar and everybody. Creek. We're going to announce Creek. all the concerts. And there's some. I can't say. It. I almost spilled it. I was. Getting... There's some major. We can't. We out. can't say anything. But there's some ones we haven't had before that. Out at Cedar Creek. I can't wait. And there, there's there's some stuff going on here in town that no one knows about. Nobody. No. February 7th is Rose's birthday. <gasps> well, hey. That's, that's a special day. February 8th is Trenton's birthday. They should sing a duet. There you go. Like at noon on February 7th. That's kind of halfway. So. <laughs> <laughs> or Rose may be not here. Who Rose knows? may be busy. But the promo, did you see the promo? I saw the promo. Uh huh. We've seen somebody in there. We've seen her. There's some names on this list of music out at Cedar Creek that I'm just telling you now. Yeah. We won't be live because I'll be there in lawn chair with probably a. Well, we'll be live. We'll just set the iPad or something. I'll be with an adult beverage because. That's all right. I'm going to have to sing quite a bit, is what I'm saying. Dude, I can't wait to announce it. That's. 
a lot of cool stuff coming That's good. up. Um, there's there's some Rob goes overboard. Yeah, this there's year. some good ones. I mean, they're all good, but I mean, there's some that's I'm like, dude, that's gonna be off the charts that weekend. And, yeah, and there's a lot of bands that uh we have not had in this area, right. and there's some that we have had, and some of the now we in can studio. we can announce or we can share Trace Atkins and yes, Morgan Diamond Fairgrounds Rio Saturday and, June eighteenth. Not far away, if you think no. about it. Trace Atkins, Lone Star, Diamond Rio, Diamond Rio, Big Country, MB, and then I Rose on it. I'm for that punk. I would like. I'd like to see Dwight. Dwight. I could deal with that, but it, unfortunately, it is not who we're talking about. Rose O'Neill. That's a good lineup. That'd Trace Atkins. It starts oh. at 5 p.m. That is a Saturday too, right? That is a Saturday. No is rock it? concert this no year. No rock yeah. concert this year. Lone Star and Diamond Rio are two of my favorite bands from the nineties, eighties, two thousands country music. Um Platinum is one hundred, gold is fifty, silver is twenty five, bring your own seating. Same location as last year. Hey Dana. Uh, Thank you, Dana. Hello, Dana. We're, we're glad to. We are got Mama Baker's really she was yeah, Mom she was stressed. Was um, emotional. We all were. Could have slapped, slapped the taste out of <laughs> your mouth. <laughs> I love her. She, hey, <laughs> you guys, she gives me as good as I give her. Trust me. <laughs> Any chance she's, yeah, I'm surprised she's not on here yet. She I does rise me, but uh, it's it's all for fun, and uh, I care a great deal for all of them. Dwight yeah. was an awesome concert in all in the early nineties. Yeah, like Dwight and speak speaking of Clint, concerts, Clint Black and. Aaron Tippin back in the day, those guys. Toby Keith got a TikTok and I didn't know it. And he popped up on my screen today. And he was he was singing something just There you go. You get a discount that day. JB knows. There you go. What was it? Twenty is it twenty five percent off or is it twenty I forget. It ain't on there? No. Up there in the small print at the top, it ain't. So April 2nd, yeah. yeah. You have to buy them at Hubler Chevy in Mooresville. But Toby Keith popped up in my thing. And so he was listening to me. He's singing. I followed him. And like 10 minutes later, I was kind of jacking. I hear something ding on my phone. And I turn around. And I look up in the corner. It's got the little TikTok thingy. And so I, I just scroll down so I can see what, the, what it says. And all I read was, Toby Keith follows you. And I was like, grab my phone. And it was... Uh, Toby Keith talks follows mm-hmm. you. I'll say like, yeah. Like whatever. They gotta have that I blue that blue like check mark. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't. 20, What's up, Tim? There it is. Twenty five percent off. There you go. That's a quarter off. Yeah, but that's uh, Saturday, June eighteenth. Trace Atkins, Lone Star, Diamond Rio, Big Country, Rose O'Neill. What's, can we? You like calling for snow for a tree event? Can you call for? Sunshine and blue skies. And oh, I'm guaranteeing it. A 70 Trace, degree night that Trace night. D- deserves a 75 degree night at five, five or six o'clock that night. I want to be 80s during the day. Yeah. And then but nice, in the evening, cool nice evening. 70. It's June. Clay Walker's TikTok. I love following him because yeah. he's a country boy, yeah. farm boy. Yeah. And he, he does some work. He's got a good TikTok. I want to announce this group. In and he was in Brown County, not too, just like a month ago. A month or two, yeah. yeah. I'd like to announce some of these in here, but Rob would skin me alive. You better not. I know. A couple weeks. What is that? July or January? I thought it was 31st. Yeah, January 31st. So we're not far we'll away. We'll all be in here. We'll be announcing, yeah, the, the entire lineup for Cedar all the concerts. Creek will be in here. I don't know who else he was going to have come Drink in. Drink the Creek, Mooresville Summer Concert Series, City of Martinsville, Downtown, 4th of July for Mooresville and Martinsville, Rocking Out at Pioneer Creek, and the Toy Drive Concert out at Hoosier Harvest. Yeah. Which is going to be interesting this year. You can announce that. He already announced it. Did he? He announced the main group. Did he? He announced it out there at the concert. Oh, who he, he had, who had Who he had coming next year. The Isaacs? Mm-hmm. Downpour? And some kid named Baker. Mm-hmm. Some kid <laughs> named Baker. <laughs> not the Isaacs. Not as much as we not, love them. Not the Isaac <laughs> family band. From here. This is the Isaacs, and they are phenomenal. <laughs> Been around for a long time. 
Not the Isaac family. They are a family. But yeah, it's just the They're Isaacs. Not the Look Isaacs them up from here. Trenton was when he was home last week. He showed us a video, played on the TV at home, and man, they are. They're going to rock it at that church. I'm telling you. There will be a uh, country rock and blues fest again this year, September 3rd and 4th out at Cedar Creek. Yep. I'm just saying that now. I'm not saying who. So, And, and I'm, just, I'm just giving you a heads up. That's going to be an awesome weekend. Mm-hmm. JB says the Isaacs yes, are great. Yes, they are. The Isaac Family Band and the Isaacs. Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool if the Isaac Family Band opened up for the Isaacs? <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> and we got... Something else going on that only Rob and me and you, because we met with him last week, know about. Is that the one? The big, the yeah. big special yeah. thing. Yeah. That nobody we, knows. That about. We can't talk about that. We'll talk about it. I don't know when he's going. Was he announcing that? I think on the thirty first. Thirty first too. Yeah. Very special amount announcement. And we don't even know who. No. That is. He he because <laughs> he didn't lock that in with us. Mm-mm. I mean, it's not on that list. Rob does a lot of good for this community. Hello, Sean. Um, yep. And, and it's it's going to be a fun summer. I'm a fan of that big. <laughs> Some kids like at home sitting right now going, does Nolan sing? Yeah. <laughs> Not no big. Mm-hmm. No, he don't sing. You don't want He's Nolan got the hair of a singer. He's got though. the hair. Man, he can pull that off. Put a cowboy hat on that kid. <laughs> Yep. Leslie, I'm debating. I was still. That's one of our things we got coming up. Now, Leslie, we Actually, pushed. Yeah, we, we pushed it out. Yeah, that's. Um, we're making it a huge event. One whole, day, a whole weekend. weekend. Um, Beth, Bethany does the Cancer Survivors Day, and we're going to incorporate it with that and the Shave for the Brave. I so that out somewhere, I think it's the fourth and the fifth of June. I think you're right. Um, the fourth is going to be the Survivors Cancer Survivors Day. The fifth is going to be shaved for the brave, and then from noon on the fourth till noon on the fifth, we're going to try to stay live and ask for donations to children's cancer. So we're research doing the stuff. shave for the brave on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, yep. he does. So it'll be the beginning of June. So we usually done it around St. Patty's Day. This we moved it back. Going to make a big, huge. We want warm air event on our cold heads. I doubt I cut my hair, but I will ask for donations and things like that. Um, if I'm letting it grow, but still by then, have we? Are we doing it? Have we uh, set we the venue yet? We haven't venue yet. Yeah. <laughs> you have a mullet. Uh, <laughs> if I do, I do. <laughs> uh, hey, at 54, someone told me who was it? Uh, your hair's Savannah or what? Um, was grow like grow that quick? And... I was gonna say it works. It's still there. Yeah. Use it and enjoy it while you can. So I was like, you know what? That's valid. I'm gonna let it grow. I haven't. I haven't let it grow since I got out of the army. I think one time I let it get about this long. Yeah, I let mine grow for a little bit, and it's been I've been out of like the my hats 89, fit different and everything. So the head, I'm shaving it again. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Ron. Let me know about the shave with the details. I will make a TikTok for y'all. Well, thank you, Michelle. Um, that is that actually, and I, and I said this in the post. This that's Bethany's event. She started it. Porch time kind of tags along with it. We promote it, and uh, we're tying. Hello, Vivian. We're tying uh, two of her events: her cancer survivor and her shape mm-hmm. for the brave together. And then one of us, or a couple of us, might be live. Are going to try to be live for twenty four hours. I will need coffee. I will need people to talk to. When you got, I'll I'll Facetime people in. I'll let them call in. I'll you got the stop got it. The I've got it right curry behind right me. behind you. Mm-hmm. We so, just need to, might have to go to Real King and buy that. I seen that big box when I was there. That's last what week. I got. Yeah, yeah, I know. But by then you may be out. I'm have to buy you another box. <laughs> what is those? Our, are pretty good. Hundred K cups. Yeah, and those they support um, Wounded Warrior Project. That's why yeah. I bought it. Yeah, I was like, don't buy that. You don't need that much coffee. It said supports <laughs> Wounded Warrior. I was like, I'm buying it. Sold. Sold. That's it. That's the rundown. I think only thing we got left is um, talked about the. Upcoming events, we talked about the exit, we talked about food, we talked about the school corporation, we talked about Logan, and we talked about the snowstorm. Yep. Rumor mill is all we got left. Well, upcoming events. 
it's not a big event like that, but we're having little Jace Cooper on Sunday night. That that is, and I meant to have that in upcoming events. Yeah, he's Jace Cooper, who is a friend of the show, and we actually do a little sponsorship for him on his quad. Yep, um, he's a champion. They're he, good people. He won his class last year, so. He has an awards banquet We're Sunday night. Come in and tell us about kickers. And oh yeah! Quads if you never, and... if you don't know who Jace Cooper is, you got to watch he's, the show Sunday night because he's awesome. He got that southern twang. <laughs> yeah. and he's a good kid. Have you, have you spoke with him? Did you talk to him or just not dad? since I got him on the show? I, I, he works out reps now, so I'm like, oh, oh you're building up muscles, getting ready for this <laughs> this upcoming season, which it starts in February. Yeah. So, Does he still talk with that Oh, he's still got that draw. Does yeah. he really? I haven't yep. talked to him for a while. Um, we sent him a... He cut the hair. He's got short hair now. Really? Yeah. You know, he had I'm the long hair. You, you probably got longer hair than he does now. He's a good dude. But I've been messaging Jeff. Jeff's a Jeff's Jeff's good dude. It's a good family right there yeah. with Cooper. So. Can't wait to have him on. Um, Nikki Walls will be coming in studio. She has an event coming up. I'm going to try, try to get her in probably next week in the evening instead of kicking it out all the way to Porch Time actual Sunday following weekend. Um, I talked to her. I just got to get a date set with her. What'd she do? She's got a pretty cool... It's a family prayer thing. Have you noticed? Oh. Have you seen that? Yeah, it's hmm. something... I'm going to have to... I'll, I'll jump off our site. and i seen her posting about it. Now she's... Yeah. What's his name from Livewire's yep. uh, daughter, right? Yeah. Yeah, here it is. Join me. She posted three days ago, and this is what caught my attention. And I like their family. Join me for a free class starting in February. We will be focusing on how to strengthen all family units, not just for families in crisis. Sharing, parenting, strategies, setting appropriate boundaries within your family and more. Participants will get a free pizza after each class <gasps> they attend. Spread the word. Ooh, good pizza. It's through the Kendrick Foundation, I believe. Huh. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. And I thought, you know what? She's a good girl. I think she's, I don't know if she's Trenton's age or if she's Alex's age. Well, they're 27, 25, so. Hang on one second. Mm-mm. All right. Yeah, I like uh, good family, and he always, um, Mr. Walls always does, Livewire does work for us, helps us out when we need him. And so, yep, it was a no-brainer when I reached out to Nick and said, hey, would you like to come on the show? And she was, she was happy to do that. And I think that's something that right now the world needs more of is prayer mm -hmm. and things like that. Yeah. I have not. I, I've, oh. I, I've not given up on my. Hour I was going to say we need to get that, um, I, that back in yes, here. Yes, Corey, you're aging. <laughs> What's that about, Sean? Come on, boom, man. That's why I keep my head shaved, where my, all my grays would show up. I they, they are in my beard. Oh though. yeah, I got like. Yeah, you know, right mine. Mine are all on my side. I got I mine in my beard. Have any up here? But if I grow out my sides, I got a few in my head. But I like my beard. I got some streaks. Our hope's coming back. Um, well, if you can't get your biker, dude, no, have just, Larry come back in. laziness and... on my behalf. And, and Steve, I want him to come in here so bad. He's... <laughs> yeah, I did. I heard pizza, and I went, oh, wait a minute. What was that? <laughs> hey, I'm a we talk about food all the time. Uh -huh. that's, that's what we do. Yep. When this is over, when this, when this, I mean, when turmoil that this country's in, and it's all clear. And Glenda the Good Witch comes down and goes, come out, come out, and we can all move around again like we used, <laughs> used to. I say we hold a, like a massive community pitch in somewhere. And we'll all get sick from it. Yeah. <laughs> But I just think that we, we'll be on the news again. We could have it. Well, a, local podcast like from Martinsville Porch Time had a massive had a, celebration. Like could have them set the set the stuff up at the inside the 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 barns at the fairgrounds. Have music at the stage over there. Just mm -hmm. make a day of it at the park. 
Like there you go, JB. Sell, or even at the park. We'll open go. up the pool. You could, you could set the stuff Kevin up. Kevin will go down the slide. No, he won't. You could set the... <laughs> hey... You know what? Well, we'll run the we'll run the hill a couple this times. Kid, this kid went down the metal slides <laughs> when we was kids and Ooh. left you left skin on. Oh yeah. And I ate out uh, of hot a day. chocolate fountain at Golden Corral. So I I, I think I can handle hey, uh, there is nothing wrong with the chocolate fountain. No, but we we lived through that. Because <laughs> I guarantee you right now you wouldn't. Look at that. I need to hear more of the Wizard of Oz song. Thank you, Diane. I'm, I'm warming up. <laughs> I What's up, that. Dalton? <laughs> that would pay to see that giant water slide. No, we we uh, we survived the the metal slides that took the top layer of your Just skin off your butt. the heat all day, and, and then, then you... you either hit butt first or landed <laughs> in a puddle. Yeah, once nice. you got down there, and then everybody and their brother ate out of that chocolate water fountain at Golden Crown. <laughs> And if you survive that, for sure there's still one. And the I I don't know why ours closed. We went to the it's Bedford packed. one a couple years ago for Mom's birthday because she loves it's always crap. packed. And it's still the chocolate fountain still going there, so they really? still have it. You think they got to yeah. open right now? They got there's some okay bad buffet bar now. I wish it was still. Here. I love Golden Crown because they got some. Steak I went to the and... one up on 135. It was it was like we were playing ball somewhere, and I had all the kids with me. I'm hot. We've been out in that sun all day. We probably got our brains beat in. I'm like, I've got like 50 bucks on me. Let's go, Mm -hmm. you know, cash. Let's go to the Golden Corral. And it was like 95 bucks for five of us to eat at Golden Corral. Yeah. I was like, this ain't Ruth Chris. What are we doing here? But I I said, you know what? I'm getting my 95. That kid ate that. There's one in Plainfield now, and then there's one in bed. They closed the one in Bloomington, too. Turned it into some sushi bar or something. That was a nightclub. I don't know what it is down there. That were night moves moved. But the bedroom one was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. From the uh, from the chocolate fountain, Dalton. <laughs> uh, I, I I was out at uh, his house out in Cloverdale now. Out in that area, he's got a Cloverdale. Nice, yep, he's got a nice little spread out there. Um, saw well, his new baby. <laughs> so the plane field yeah, there you nice. go, Luke. I've been to the plane field. There one. we go. Woohoo! Thank you so much. Hey, so they got a golden crowd. I'm telling you, go go to the Bedford or the plane field one. They're they're pretty good. I don't know, but where's the one in Greenwood? On one thirty five. Sits off to the left as you're going northbound. By Myers, um, b- b- there's a b- Texas b- Roadhouse there now. Is there a Golden Crow around? There's Golden Crow there. I love Golden Crow. Yeah. You can, Thanks, you can, Michelle. It's it's like poor man's Fogo. <laughs> like... right. They raise their prices. They're woohoo! Activated Star oh! Party. It's closed. The one on thirty five oh. is. You guys are breaking my heart. I was gonna say I didn't think. It. You gotta wait. It counts down. Oh. Oh, they're, oh they're, I think they're wanting you to send stars in the next four minutes to see how many you get. See, there's a zero I'm not percent. sending myself stars. That's ridiculous. But, oh, they want 11. Zero out of... Oh, they want you to get 1,100 stars. You see that? No. Bring that up again right there. Underneath oh, the, send stars before the timer then, runs out. Then wonder what happens if you... Uh-oh. Speaking of binums. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> thank you, Wendy. Well, who, who said the Bedford one? Bynum's raised their price. I didn't know. The kids just left for Bowling Green. Oh wow! Down in that snow. Well, if they beat it, they'll they'll uh they'll be all right. The one. On... Wait a minute. We need to scroll back up. Hang on, it's getting. Oh, Becky. The yeah. Bed for one still open. That's the one my mom wanted to go to. Thank it, you, it, Becky. it was it was huge and it was good. If they, I think if they get out of here now, I think they'll get to Bowling Green fine yeah. ahead of the storm. The one on thirty oh. thirty five has been mm. closed for months. I don't get out much. No, Sorry. Did it really? That breaks went, my heart. I wasn't watching the the captions. See, it didn't. I said Bedford, but she said it said bedroom. The bedroom. <laughs> the bedroom down in Bedford was pretty hey, good. Hey, we got 4%. See, it's building. Oh. What's it say? 50, oh, okay. 50, yeah, so that's so what it is. So if you hit 1100 wonder what it does. Stars, what yeah. does it do? Oh. 
Melanie's trying to send stars. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You guys don't have to do that. I just, I've never seen that pop up on here on my phone I had, but. Somebody sent stars. Thank you, Diane. 200. We are uh, roughly 900 away from 900 stars total. Did you send stars? I'm trying. It's not a real fast process. I know you it. To... You got two minutes and 30 seconds, Corey. Hit it. I'm trying here. Star Search is coming back March 28th, and I cannot wait for that. So if you're... I just wanted the headphones. 500. Look at Ooh, that. Oh, we're 68%. We've got two minutes, people. Two minutes. Hang on, hang on. What hang we on. got? That's like... Oh, uh, oh 300. <laughs> oh, oh, Mama Bake. Hey, we should have we should have conversed about that before we both went... 95%. Oh, what well, we need? We, we need, need 50. 50 stars, and let's see if this... Uh, that's hilarious. Maybe this will throw, like, confetti all over our screen or something. Who knows? Let's say Kevin has to rip his shirt off if you're at I had a laugh at your post, though, about Star Search, because did you see people? I think they were t- thinking you were talking about the original show, Star there you Search. Go. What? Your celebration is about to begin. Uh oh. What are we doing here? Empties. Hang on. Should I? I'll get that off there. Oh, sorry. Gonna... oh, look. Do they see that? You got. No? Oh, was that it? It says Star Party is complete. Thank you, JB, Michelle, and three others for helping achieve a stars party. Are you kidding me? Um, I'm seeing um, stars. Did you guys see Oh, that? did you see them come across your screen? That looked like a... It was like a... That it, looked like something Billy Owens would like do on the minutes. old... The, that was something Billy would do on the old um, junk of the trunk. Yeah. Well, that's cool if you guys seen them. That's kind of anticlimactic. But that was only like, what, five seconds? Thanks, Facebook. <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, at least you guys seen them. You guys enjoyed the fun with us. Yeah, that's the first time. i never seen it. Yeah. No, you should have, on your post, said, Porch Times, Monday Music Hours, Star Search. Because there, oh, was, no, there was a couple thinking, thinking about, it was the original. Is Ed McMahon oh, coming back? Yeah, they're bringing that back. <laughs> Yeah, I did see that bringing Ed McMahon back from yeah the grave, and he's going to host it. So the Bakers <laughs> gave eight hundred of the stars. By uh, yeah, thanks, Bakers. Oh well, and Big Country was on there back in the day, right? Yes, on one of them way back. Yeah, that was an old. It was yeah, brief. it was brief. It was pretty quick. Maybe the ones that sent the stars. Only the ones. No, cause well, no, Audrey. She did. I don't think she did. And yeah, Wendy, you weren't you weren't watching because. It happened really quick. <laughs> yeah. If you blinked or sneezed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Michelle didn't see him. Oh, well, I should have got my... I should have recorded it. Mama and Baker must have heard me saying nice things about her. That's what must she Must have. Got. She must have got on there and... and um, yeah. I'm going to donate 300 right when you're donating <laughs> right 500. Right when I was 500. <laughs> didn't she outbid you on something once? Oh... I honestly, it could be the crown. There she's, you go. She's sipping Rainbow on, burst. I did see that. She must be sipping on some crown sipping on tonight. Good stuff. Diane did not see them. Huh. And Wendy said she did not. Hmm. Wendy said, yeah, Diana sent some. So, hmm. Wonder why some people Very seen sorry them. sorry that you did not get to see our celebration. Sorry. But it basically yeah, there was, was like something. this. And that was it. There was something was bidding on. And she outbid me or something. Yeah. Well, oh, remember Leslie and her son Edward were going back and oh, forth that's right. one time, too. We've had a lot of fun on here. I was talking to somebody about it today at work, and uh, they were kind of, kind of, kind of quizzing me on it because they hadn't heard of it. And they're up there, and um, I was trying to go down memory lane. And first couple of years, we had guests in on the studio every 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 Sunday. I'd like to get back to that. I think we're going to get a comment here in about three, two, one. Oh, Kenny Duncan, you disappointed me. I see him pop up. Here. It's gonna be something like it's gonna be something yeah. like um, uh, evening gents. Oh, he's, he's there. He is. He's I was just a few seconds behind. It's gonna be something like. Um, what do you think they call Shag Bark Hickory? Shag Bark Hickory. <laughs> <laughs> so, so go so, ahead. Are you, are you talking to somebody about? Oh, just memory lane and how we used to have people come in here every 
religiously. That was our that was our gig was Sunday night only, seven mm-hmm. p.m. And um, now we kind of went every other night and. Well, and then Lost COVID kind of stopped Sundays. We had some situation come up there for a couple years. Yeah. And then COVID kind of <laughs> the one time. <laughs> um, COVID uh, kind of took us out of our game a little bit, but yeah, we're going to get back to that. We've got Chase coming in. Yeah, Chad you got yeah, you Chad guys have to. <laughs> yeah, well, Mr. Cooper in here. I will never forget our first auction. And we had been going probably six hours, and um, we're dragging. We're... There you go. That's right. Diana she was did. in Germany. And yeah. I remember her saying from Germany. Yep. I was, we were dragging ass, and Phil Deckard showed up and said, we're going to take his home. We're, yeah. we're, we're going over 10 grand. And he sat there, and that dude could read long division and just sounds mm-hmm. good. But at one time, I was like, I got to stand up. These old legs, I got to move. So I go out, I look outside, and you can't see the street, Morgan Street. And there's Ramey and Billy and Dean and Timmy, and I think you were out there. And Beth wasn't involved in the show yet. And I walked out in the street, and I looked at Ramey, and I go, who's in there running the show? Yeah. And you had Collier <laughs> and, and, and yeah. maybe Fletcher and, and Chad White and just mm-hmm. a bunch of people. There was That was a, yeah. Mike, I have a long list of... Um, and then it was just... That we need to get a hold of and get back in here. From then on. Yep. That was a fun night. Regardless and of... Dine the... was in Germany, listen to us. Mm-hmm, I remember that. We've had people in Israel, in China, in Australia, Japan. in New Zealand, Japan. We were doing the volleyball game when somebody was a, yep. a base in Japan yep. listening. Uh, Kelly. I think. Something Kelly, wasn't it? I was thinking it was Curtis. Maybe it was Curtis. Last name Curtis. Maybe so. I think it's because Andy, who was oh, our, who unplugged, unplugged the up. power. Yeah. yeah. Who did the Bruce McKee. Here we go. Why do we park in a driveway and drive on a parkway? <laughs> See, Kenny, we don't think about that. <laughs> we just rely on you to comment. And why do why do they that's say that's true? Why do they say board the plane? They should say because you're not you board in the plane. You're yep. not just getting on top of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can. He's my Peaky Blinders guy. That's that's coming up. Last you, season, you do it is the final season of Peaky Blinders. You know what's coming up on the twenty first. Next Friday, week from tonight. You know what's coming up. I'm actually watching last season right now <laughs> when I'm working. Just to, I, you know, just to refresh my memory. I, I, I know I what the last episode I, I, is, I know. but I want to build the it up last, leading up to the that. last ten seconds of Ozark season three. Well, was blow your mind. And I told you why the show's so. It'll blow your mind, literally, but it'll you blow your always, mind. You always. <laughs> You always have good and bad in no matter what sh- what movie, what show you have. In Ozark, there is no good. Mm. Everyone is bad. And you have to decide whether they're good enough to cheer for them or, or you're like, I ain't watching this because they're all bad. But Ruthie is, is that lady. She's the bad of bad. <laughs> she is. And she's no bigger than that roll of oh. paper towels. Oh, January 21st, yes, that is correct. next Friday. I would, Corey, but me and Pippi Longstocking, think about what our children will look like. <laughs> yes. Hey, you haven't worn your pinky blinders hat in a while. No, I haven't. Pinky. No, peaky. Peaky. I say pinky. Not pinky blinders. It's pinky blinders. Yeah, Ozark. If you have not watched no Ozark on Netflix... It's only three seasons right now. Watch it. It's not for the weak of heart, though. Oh, it's yeah. It's a. There are no good people. There are gruesome. there are n- no. There's good sides in this movie. An old show. man that goes skinny dipping in the mornings. I mean, it, <laughs> I'm sorry. It just it goes. Yeah. There's a guy that tries to fly out of a 80 story building in Chicago. That's season one. And it's yeah. It's not weak. Yeah. It's the end of season three, the last ten seconds will blow if you if you watch the entire show, 
All three seasons. You'll never know it's coming. You would have never even thought. He even tried to give me hints, and he was he was like two days ahead of me. And he's like, uh, wait till you see the ending. You'll never guess what happens. And the minute after, you're like, yeah. are you kidding me? Because that's how it ends. So you're just like sitting there like, yeah. It goes to, goes uh, to the credits. Uh, no way. Hello, Nicole. Can you have seen that picture of you, bud? And the little scally cap and your long coat. I, I like it. The hat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Listen to the intro mm-hmm. song. Total shock. I watched Kill Bill 1 and 2. I've watched, uh, I think, one of those. I've not watched I haven't the watched the one. Kill Bills. I don't. Um, that's Uma Thurman and um, lots of uh, Kung Fu There's fighting. Movies and I need to watch. And... Just like uh, Keno Reeves' movie. What's it? The Matrix. Wick? I've never watched that. I've never seen The Matrix. I've never seen Wicks either. Oh. And there are like three of them now. Oh, boy. You gotta watch John Wick. Yeah, I haven't watched the, those either. Are they on any of the? Lots of blood. Yes, Diane. You gotta watch John. Are Wick. they on any of the Netflix I or don't anything? No. I can watch John Wick movies over blood. and over and over. As again. in Ozark? No, as in in um, Kill Bill. Oh. I ha- I have watched <laughs> a lot of that sand alert here. <laughs> there he goes, gonna rub it again. Yeah, I have watched a little bit of that. Um, Hmm. I never heard of that. Uh, George Washington. I have to look at that. I watched a documentary Turn. on, um, and I forget. Hey, I, here's how long ago it was. I had to go to the library and get the this v, VHS tapes. That it was like a 20 episode documentary of George. Hmm. And I watched every bit of that one weekend, and I, I don't think I slept very little. But that's a long time ago. But he was an interesting cat with a lot of stuff around him. Even JB's seen. Kill Bill. I don't Dark, I, I've not well watched done. either two. I've watched one of them. I don't know which it's got one. Uma in it, don't it? Uma yeah. Thurman. And it's got uh, Lucy, uh, uh, one of the other Charlie's Angels. Um, Lucy Lou. Lucy Lou. She's in it. Um, huh. I'll have to try to see if it's on. She's bad in it. I sat at my desk all day working at home. I usually got my tablet on and playing something. And I've, I've watched Peaky Blinders two or three times all the way through. Uh, Ozark <clears throat> now. I'm telling you, that my, my favorite show of all time is Person of Interest. And Netflix finally took it off. But if you watch that from start to begin, start episode one and stay yeah. with it all the way through it. It's a good one. It's almost like what's going on today in certain mm-hmm. aspects. <clears throat> yep. Craziness. And I'm like, I love Jim Caviezel. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Well, CB, we've got we're going to hour exactly right now. We'll do a little recap. I don't think you think they're sponsors, did you? Did Not we... yet. I want to do oh. that real quick. I yeah, want to do that real I'm quick. Eating these little candy. But... Let's do that. Real Black quick. cells. I think I watched a couple of that and I just couldn't get into it. It's like a pirate. The Office is good. I've never, I've never watched The Office. I don't know why see all these uh, tidbits of the office and look, look at this look what i did you're gonna like this cb what'd you do oh <laughs> america basement solutions larry ralph so you don't forget anybody i i know and i did <laughs> I've, I've got one on there i've, I've omitted and accidentally there's, but, there's a fan person of interest is awesome jeff i, I love jim caviezel uh you ever hear that guy speak on some of the issues right now going on. Well, I like him. He played Captain the best Bay. Jesus ever. Yeah, in Pastor any Christ. Movie. <laughs> uh, did you hear what happened to him on the sets? Mm. I'm gonna click this off so people can see. He, I think he got Mandalorian. I heard that was good. I've not seen that. I think he got like dehydrated, struck by lightning, mm. got sick, um, all sorts of things. Wow. We had all them open wounds all over oh, his back. And so. Well. <laughs> He speaks now. He's big into trafficking stuff, anti. Mm-hmm. And man, that guy, I love him. Yeah. Love the guy. Let me go back to my sponsors. Real quick. Longmire, that's a good one. I've heard the good things. I've about watched that. it. Larry Ralph, we had a, a chance to spend a quite a bit of time with him when we were taking the stuff down to, to uh, Kentucky. Yep. American Basement Solutions, Springs coming. Get your foundation right. Wellspring, Bob Goodrum and Company. Um. Get a hold of them. They they handle a lot of the homeless situation here in town. If you got yeah. goods you need to drop off, contact them. 
JTH Construction Studio. That is where we're at. Findhelp.org. That's not just for abuse and things like that. That's all sorts, covers paying bills, things like that. If you need help, go to findhelp.org. Wayman's, a, pern- a furniture, appliance, and mattress. We are happy to have them aboard. Mark mm-hmm. Wayman's a good man. Um, they have been a mainstay in Martinsville. How long was that? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, just forever. I, I had that sheet, and I forgot what I did with it. But we are happy to have them as sponsor. Stead's Comfort Systems keeps us warm in the winter and cool in the summer in here. Blind Boys Lawn Care. Do not forget about them. They will be... Busy this spring again. Get a hold of Larry. Reps Fitness. How I stay. That's how I stay in the physical shape that I'm in. <laughs> and then, of course, you have Cedar Creek, Drink of the Creek Concert Series, and Just Winging It. Jeff, I think you'll watch the first episode and you'll be hooked. <laughs> oh, he's not seen. He's not his seen all. it. He's going to have to check out the Ozarks. Yeah, it's, it's on Netflix. It's quite the show. I'm trying to think. It may have took a little while to get going. Was it the first episode? Did it really get you? I can't remember the first. You don't realize, if you go back and watch it now, you do not realize the depth of what's going to happen after the first oh, couple, yeah. where where he gets caught there. I saw that, JB. I saw your post today. He's in there working out. Yeah. I put me to shame. Yep. Real quick on the rundown. Snowstorm, we talked about it. It's going east. It's going west and south and north and everywhere but here. It's going all around us. <laughs> Keith Sims has a great Peter Creek. There's upcoming events we've covered. Don't forget March 28th. Yeah, one of the bourbon bottles out there. Is Stars, going. Search, and has then, of course. A, has alignment on it. That's yep. what he's talking about. January 31st, 7 p.m. We'll be in here to announce... All these wonderful concerts, and there's Ooh, a ton careful. of new ones. Somebody will pause that. Yeah, later. someone will pause it and see what's up. The exit ramp. Yeah, yes, <clears throat> yes. Jess, Jason Bateman is is the star of that, but Ruthie is the star of that. You'll meet her. Uh, the exit ramp. Just slow down. Just slow down. They got signs up now. Don't be that guy. Food. We always talked about food. Always. Logan. We talked about her. She did graduate. She's got her degree. She's got her license. But she lives over by Sweetwater with her mom. She's probably going to end up uh, cutting hair over in the Edinburgh area, Nineveh or Columbus. Um, Not for sure yet, but we'll let you know on that. Uh, School Corporation, we talked about that. Give them a break. Nobody wanted to be in this situation. It's a tough time for everybody. Nobody's happy with this. Lots of people are sick. Cut them some slack. And the rumor mill. We've not done the rumor mill. Yeah, I didn't know. Is there... Rumor, rumor? Oh, I got rumors. We can start a rumor. My rumor mill is this. Oh, let's check that out. I'm going to give you a rumor right here, right now. Getting... I get some Crown Peach. Who got that? It's already mixed. Who Four packs you? of CVS. <laughs> nice, Wendy. Thanks. I'll have to check it out. Rumor mill. What, what's the rumor? We won't get more than four inches of snow this winter. That's the rumor. Combined. Total. That's the rumor I'm hearing. You got a better one than that? Another rumor I, I heard. I haven't heard anything. So. Another rumor I heard that the Colts are going to... Going to get another quarterback I heard other that. than Carson I, Wentz. So if the GM's pissed off, then <laughs> yeah. I think there's going to be changes. I mean, his interview or whatever was it today or yesterday? Yeah, there's. Yeah, yeah he's not happy. That's the rumor. Can't remember, but the series about the mountain people in Kentucky with it would come down. To... Hmm. Oh, that was um. I I Steve I uh, that wasn't on long. But these, these, like a reality show, like a, no, a, a it movie, was like far fetched. Oh. They lived up on a big mountain in Kentucky, and they would come to town on their quads with guns and just do whatever the hell they wanted. And then they'd go back home. The cops come out oh. there and they would bang them up, and then they'd still do what hmm. they wanted. Hmm. I remember that, Steve. All right. Mm. Tomorrow, uh, the, any big, other rumors? 
Big show out in uh, did you big show out in Arizona tomorrow night at nine PM. You get a chance. Tune in to, to Big Daddy. I don't want to say his name on air, but what? When? Tomorrow night, nine PM. Out of Arizona. He's got a little speech speech. Live. I thought that was Katy Perry. <laughs> Rumor that's four more than I get. That's true. Way down there, Chuck Norris went to Femme's rally and came back. <laughs> Him and his wife have a heck of a TikTok. Chuck, have Chuck, you seen really? Him? Huh? Oh yeah. That he's on there, um, really pounding the, the gavel. Anyway, guys, love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for always supporting us. Thank you for the stars. Thanks for the quick five second party. <laughs> right. <laughs> Our Billy O is getting put down by the roundabout. Um I heard Billy O's <laughs> retired from everything but scratching. So I like Steve. I like his way of thinking. <laughs> Four more inches than he's gonna get down there. We gotta is go he living down in Florida? Oh, he, he goes out there in the winter. Winter, what do they call that? He's a snowbird. Snowbird. So. <laughs> All right, guys. Anything last say there, CB? Uh, nope. I didn't hear no rumors, so I like... I heard rumors. I'm, I'm good eight. with... Uh, that's, that's confirmed. That's no rumor. I, I'm good with if that's all we get. All right, guys. Sunday. 7 p.m., right, Jace? Right here. Love it. Right here in studio, Mr. Jace Cooper. Love you guys. Probably we'll have some hardware with him. We'll see. He see, is a champion. See you Sunday with the champion. Yep. That's going to be fun. Thank you all for the prayers for Alex. That was... Yes. Many prayers. Are we still live? Yeah, mics are still on. We're going to still... Mics are still on. One new comment. Who we got? Oh, Thanks, Mike. Oh. Yeah, Donnie's coming here, I think. To the Legion, isn't he? Yeah. Swear to God. Swear to God. State, State, law. State law. Kenny's got VIP tickets. <laughs> Kenny, you're the best. Votto to the Yankees. Love you guys. See you soon. <laughs>